I, I don't want, I think, people to ever think that I'm here for a paycheck. You know what I mean? Because it's bigger than anything people can understand. Give Every Child a Chance is a free mentor tutoring program that's offered through uh, central San Joaquin County. We're in French Camp, Weston Ranch, um, Lathrop, Ripon, Escalon, all Mentee Unified, all Ripon Unified, um, Escalon Unified, and Banta. Give Every Child a Chance started with the vision of Anton Ramos. He and Bob Camden were talking. Um, Mr. Ramos had been at DCI and had witnessed the young man pick up his bed and try to throw it against the wall in frustration. Um, and he said, what can I do to keep people from getting to this point? So we pulled together a large number of community volunteers and community leaders, Boys and Girls Club, policemen, um, clergy, other nonprofits. And he said, I want to make a difference in the community. I want to, make, I want to give every child a chance to be successful. At that point, one of the people at that meeting said, give every child a chance, that's the name of your nonprofit. The way that people could feel most successful in life was to be successful in school. So if you're struggling in school, you'll probably struggle throughout life. And so one of the main goals was to inter intercede with those that were struggling in school at an early age to try to make them understand how to be more successful. When I was in grade school, the tutoring that was offered to me was from the school. And it was from the same teachers that were failing us. So you were kind of going in and learning stuff you should have learned during class time that was completely uncovered. Um, so the fact that they offer a free service to people who are essentially volunteering their time, because volunteers are the meat and potatoes of everything. Um, it's beautiful. It's nonprofit. People come in and they, they donate. I mean, we have snacks that are donated. And these people don't have to do this, but they do it because they want to. Over the years, well, like last year, we probably did around 4,000 students, a little over 4,000. Over the years, it's well over 15,000. Um, it grows a little bit every year, as do our programs. So um, those are unduplicated numbers also. Those are, those are students that could be in more than one of our programs, but it's only counted as one. There's a lot of government funds involved with Give Every Child a Chance. We've been very blessed. I write grants every day. Um, if I don't write them, somebody else in my organization does. So we have um, government funding from local government and state funding. So we've been very blessed. We have a lot of, of funders who have taken us under their wing as their nonprofit of choice. And we're very blessed to have that. I have 25 students, and it's one of the biggest sites right now, the most inundated with, with tutors and students. And then you got to figure each of those students has their own tutor. So there's about 50 bodies in here between Monday and Thursday. You could tell they enjoy it because they get excited to come in. Yeah. And they come in early. Like some of the students we had over here were half hour early just to be here. Nice. And that says a lot. I think it's a great program. On the back to school night, my son's teacher said that there is tutor tutorial on site and she recommended, she said, I'm a strong believer in kids going to tutoring and getting help in areas. She goes, she said she would sign off on not just ones that are struggling, just, and if any parent sees that their child has a need and from th the first start of the year, there was a, a showing that. Carson had a need for um, some help, especially in reading comprehension. In fourth grade, things start changing, and you really start seeing their letter grades. And she signed off, and it's a strong program, and I think it's great. And I thought it was great when I heard that there was going to be another student mentor, because I think it kind of breaks that ice for children, and they're able to learn. There's a lot to learn from another child, especially one that's willing to give their time and talents. Because I want to like help kids get better at their education. Because my dad is a scientist trying to find the cure on cancer, and he wanted to become a teacher, but he never got to. So I thought this might be 
what an experience of what he wanted to do. It's something awesome to see that something I do just because I love to do it is actually something that pays off in the long run. You see they're actually actual tangible results instead of my incentives come from their grades and not from perks of getting paid. So it's, it's awesome and I actually have another student that was supposed to be here today um, who's already out of the program. He, he dropped or graduated is what they call it out of the system um, and I talked to his mother on the phone. She's like, thank you for everything that you've done. He was a CD student. He has all A's and B's. He made honor roll. He has a 3.5. And so you hear that, you're like, you're really excited because I literally only worked with him part of this, this year. And I think maybe he did summertime, but I'm not sure. And it's, it's awesome. There's like, <laughs> these aren't your kids, but they, be, they, they become part of you. We have a lot of autistic students in our program. First of all, we get their IEPs. Any child that's in special ed or is challenged, we get a copy of their IEP. And so we utilize that IEP to create a working, a learning environment for that student so they can follow what's expected from my, their IEP. Children that have dyslexia or children that, that have other, other challenges in school, they're not stupid. They learn differently. You may, um, we, all, of our, all of our volunteers, we teach them to use the senses when they're teaching. So I'll give you an example. I had one young girl that came in and she loved marshmallows. And so her tutor asked me, we don't give our kids sugar, but the tutor asked me, can I use marshmallows to teach her her math? Because I think it'll make her successful. And I thought about it and I went, oh God, bouncing off the walls. And I called her mom and her mom said, if you can get her to learn that way, do it. And so we did, we got little baby marshmallows. And if she got a problem right, she got to eat the marshmallows. And if she missed the problem, she had to redo it. After six weeks, she understood what was going on. And that young girl came back and tutored somebody else. How uh, learning disabilities or like as a scope as far as it goes, I think it's always been a problem. I think it's bigger than we believe it to be because the testing isn't available, not readily available to lower income families. Um, one of my one of my friends children was recently tested for dyslexia and it cost her upwards of $2,000 to do it through her primary care physician. You don't have the money, you will never find out. And they go through school not being able to focus, thinking they're stupid when they're really bright and feeling that they're lesser than other people because maybe they're in special ed classes just for one or two subjects. And it it affects more than their learning, it affects their self-esteem, it affects how they relate to students, it reflects maybe, do they feel angry? You know, it goes into emotional and everything and it takes a toll on all aspects of their life. I was dyslexic for as long as, I, long as I was in school and I didn't know until later. I thought that my disorganization was just because I was lazy or sloppy or something like that, but it was just because I learned and processed stuff differently. The teacher made note that she saw a big difference in him. His grade could still improve but some of that has it's not reflected on what he does here it's reflected on the fact that he has problems with time tests and tests in general um, but sh the teacher commented during the parent teacher conference that she saw a big change in him which um, as a parent I'm out of resources we do a lot at home to try to supplement his struggles and we will continue, but this is another resource for him that in a place that he can maybe something has to click for him and maybe this will be the place where it happens.